today is chili day and not just chili it's my mom's chili I uh, sent her a text asked her if I she could give me the recipe and if I could do this it is one of my favorite things uh, we have a little bit of a tradition which I'll talk about a little later but let's get started so in here I have ground beef now I did cook it up I did brown it and I drained uh, the fat from it so start with my pot I have ground beef to it I'm going to add tomato soup they can come out ah, there we go tomato soup tomato sauce chili beans. These are mild chili beans. You can use any kind of chili bean you want. Kidney beans. And this is uh, so you know if you buy like that chilio mix at the store, this is essentially the chilio mix, but I made it here with the with the dried spices that I have. Because why go out and buy something if I already have the spices and I can just make it? So in here, chili powder, some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. Smoked is better than not smoked, but you can totally use regular paprika. Um, Gosh, what else? Just a little bit of oregano. So, if you want to take a look at this, this is a hearty chili. And um, so it kind of depends on what, how you like it. How we make it is we add, a, we take a cup of our tomato soup and we fill it with water. I should say a cup, a can of tomato soup. And then we dump it in here just to make it a little bit more runny. We don't want a, a soup. We do want that chili texture, but this is going to simmer. And we are gonna probably use, definitely the minimum simmer time is a half an hour. I'm gonna simmer this for a lot longer. So when you're making chilies, when you're making soups, the longer it simmers, the longer the flavors have to marry and and come together and the tastier your dish will be so um but again with it simmering it will cook down a little bit because some of that moisture will evaporate so be sure to check on it be sure to stir it every now and then and and that's it this is gonna sit do its job i'll stir it and then it'll be ready to serve so um this is really great my mom actually makes this in the crock pot and um, it's a tradition that we always come over for trick-or-treat and mom makes chili uh, by we I mean my sister and I and um, While the chili is cooking we pass out the candy and then after we pass out the candy and trick-or-treating is done We come back into my mom's house and we have some chili and cornbread. So it's a really nice tradition that we have um, I look forward to it every year. It's awesome. So um, just a little a little something from home and to share it with you guys and uh, it's one of my favorite things. I, I truly love this. And it's so simple. It's like, there's like nothing to it. So I hope you guys make it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you next time.